Okay, let's see. What's today's EDC going to be? Pocket knife, yes. Flashlight, good idea. Multi-tool, always. Absolutely need my reading glasses. Yeah, I think we'll be taking notebook, pen to go with. Yeah, bandana, I think so. Hand sanitizer is a good idea, and if I'm going to carry that, maybe I'll take a small first aid kit and the ever-present mask for the COVID stuff. You know what? It's going to be a hot day. Water bottle. Oh, man. If I have to start carrying any more weight than that, I'll have to start wearing suspenders. What if I try this? So this is the Satch. It was sent to me by High Range Outdoors out of Australia for testing and review. It is a small size shoulder bag intended for EDC carry. And when it arrived, I wondered when I would actually likely be using this. Well, that was just before the pandemic struck. And what I found is with the gyms being closed, as well as the restaurants and a lot of, a lot of other places being closed, I was doing a lot more walking around the neighborhood. And as the weather got warmer, I found that I just didn't have enough pockets to carry all the things I wanted to with me. And that's where the satch came in. So what I'd like to do is go over some of the statistics. I'll talk about the things that I really like about it. And then we'll talk a little bit about the things I think could be improved. So once again, this is the Satch, an EDC bag made by High Range Outdoors in Australia, and it was sent to me for testing and review. And what we'll do is we'll start by going through a few measurements, talk about the materials and the construction of the bag, and then we'll talk a little bit about what I really like about it and the one small thing I think could be improved on it. So to begin with, it measures in at 12 and a half inches in this direction, 10 inches in this direction, and the depth of it when it is loaded is three and a half inches. It is a five liter capacity bag. And of course, all the information and description of this bag will be in the show notes below. So it is made from a 500D Cordura nylon inside and out. And that was chosen over the 1000D because it is something that will dry a lot faster. It makes it a very supple, but it's a very tight weave bag. It has a slightly rubberized feel on the inside, which should aid in the water resistance as well. So the construction of this bag is just outstanding. I, when, I, when I received it and I started playing with it, I looked it over inside and out. I literally folded everything inside and out to get an idea of the construction. And it is nothing but top notch. There are no places that I can see this bag coming loose or in any way failing on you at any point in the future. It also has a 38 millimeter strap and it is adjustable on one side so you can adjust it for length. It has a fairly good range of adjustment. That's something else I noticed when I first got it is I thought the shoulder strap was a little bit on the short side but I realized that uh, this type of bag rather than hang way down low on your base actually or on your waist sorry actually works better if it's up a little bit higher in your back so this will work well over coats but primarily I see using this during the warm weather when I don't have the coat on with all the extra pockets. It is a really minimalist design. There's not a lot of extras on it, just a few pockets. And I'm going to show you that in a second, all the inside pockets as well. It is a flap over design, so it closes over with a flap. That allows for a little extra volume if you want to overstuff the bag, which is not recommended. It should be just enough size for everything you're likely to need on a, on a day out. It does have a high quality Fastex style side lock, side release buckle that has a very positive snap with a little bit of adjustment again if you overload the bag a little bit. It is gusseted at the bottom and that's one of the key attributes and you'll see how this really helps in a minute. But the design of that gusset is so that when you put everything in the bag and this is opened up, the bag should stand upright on its own without any support required. All right, let's take a look on the inside. I'll give you some close-ups on it as well. So inside, we have two large pockets here. And if you're wondering, they will each hold a full-size 32-ounce Nalgene bottle. I've tried that. It does work. I mean, it does bulk the bag up a lot, but you can get a full-size water bottle inside that. Behind that is the main compartment. It's quite cavernous inside. Let me demonstrate and show it to you. You can see there's quite a bit of room in there for 
everything you you're likely to need. And behind that is another bag, or another pocket, I should say, that is one more pocket in behind that. That's not divided. So there are the main compartment and another pocket of equal size behind that one. So there is more than enough room for you to put the things you need and just enough uh, location or spaces for you to, to uh, organize the things you want to get access to. The outside of the bag is trimmed completely all the way around with a really nice nylon webbing so that you're not going to get any fraying anywhere all the way around and it's been cut and heat sealed off on the tips down here. There's a quick look at the high range outdoors label on the inside and the high range outdoors patch on the outside. And by the way, this is guaranteed for life by high range outdoors. So what do I really like about it? Well, one of the things is that it's just small, compact. I mean, this thing just folds up really, really small. If I wasn't using this and I needed to put it away, then this is going to go away without a whole lot of bulk. Probably carry this by itself in my pocket if I felt the need to. I really like the simplistic design of this thing. It is just that. You don't have to give a lot of thought to where you're going to be putting everything. I found that, and I will load it up and show you what it looks like carrying this over my shoulder with all those items that I had in the beginning, but I found that I can get all those things in here. I could also, if I wanted to, get either a book that I'm going to be reading or even my tablet, my 10-inch tablet inside of this, on top of the things that I showed you. But in truth, most of those things I don't carry all the time, but those are the ones I did show are the ones that are most likely if I'm going out for a good hike around the neighborhood. Now, so that's what I like about it, those, those pockets. Uh, the one thing I'm not so, I haven't really caught on with it yet, is this back pocket back here. And I'll show you when I get it on my shoulder why, but I'll explain it right now. What I found is because the, po the main pocket and the back pocket have a seam right at the same level that quite often when I was reaching into the bag from when it was over my shoulder that I was unintentionally reaching into the back pocket rather than the front pocket. This may be the one thing I'd like to see changed or altered and that is some way of closing the back pocket off from the main pocket so that you don't reach unintentionally inside of it. Now, it's not a deal breaker at all. It's just a personal preference, of course. So I know it would add to the cost to put a zipper in there, but I was thinking even a Velcro patch just in the center here somewhere, something I could do myself if I wanted to, but I, I did point this out to the owner of the High Range Outdoors, just some way of keeping that closed. I think if we could close that off, it would also offer a little bit more security. Not that you're likely to drop anything out of it, but if you're looking for a little bit more security, then that would be the compartment you might want to put your wallet. Oh yeah, my wallet. That's something else i got to carry in this today, isn't it? All right. What I'll do now is load the bag up and I'll give you a little look at what it looks like and how it stands up on its own. All right, quickly, just before I throw it up on my shoulder and we talk about uh, how I carry it, I just wanted to show it to you standing or sitting upright on the, the table there. That's what the benefit of that pleat comes in. The pleat allows the bottom to open up and make it self-supporting. So it stands up nicely when you lay it down. You don't have to worry about things tipping over inside. All right, now let me just put this on my shoulder and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, so it occurred to me as I loaded the bag up that I had actually two things I hadn't included in that original pile of EDC items. And the first one, of course, was the wallet and my cell phone. So I've added both of them into the bag and I still have plenty of room. So this is how normally I would be carrying the bag if I'm out for a walk. I would slide it around back. I find that it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't bounce around and it's just out of the way of my arms and everything else. Then when I want to access something, I just bring it around to the front unsnap and I can reach inside. So let me show you what I have done or what I mentioned about the, the back pocket being in the way. So as I reach inside even now without having moved anything around I find that the back pocket the lip of it is extending forward and immediately if I'm not watching what I'm doing I reach into the back pocket. Just so happens that's where I have my wallet right now but if I was reaching to look for anything else I have to take the time to look down and make sure that that flap is out of the way so that I can reach down inside and find whatever it is I want. So it also occurred to me as I was looking at the bag and loading it back up that there was actually probably two small things that I would like to see changed. So in addition to some way of sealing off that back pocket 
pocket, I'd also like to see a D ring or some other small ring in one side or the other so that I could hook car keys, house keys, or in this case what I've got right now is my little Leatherman EDC pocket tool that I like to carry every day. And it'd be nice to have that hooked on somewhere inside so that I don't have to go looking or digging to find it. So everything's in here, including my water bottle, as you can see. Everything else is in there. It does ride just nice. Let me snap that back up. So while this is, or the one I picked up or asked for was in Coyote Brown, they do have some other, a couple of other colors as well available on their website. So when you get to look at the website, you'll know what else is available, including black and a nice multi-cam color. So overall impressions, Excellent bag. Well-designed bag. It, it's just big enough for everything I'm likely to carry without being too big and, and tempting me to carry things I don't really need. In fact, there's probably things in here I wouldn't normally carry on a day-to-day -day basis, but there's enough room if I wanted to put something in like a book or my tablet to go along with what I have. Uh, you know, I suppose sunscreen. I never didn't put in my lip protector. There's a few things I could have put in here extra that I'd likely be putting in my pockets if uh, if I was carrying wearing a coat. Yeah, pretty good size overall. It works. It works for its intended purpose. Okay, that's everything I have to say about the Satch from High Range Outdoors. If you have any questions or comments on this, put them in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do to answer that. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.